This is the Parweld XTM 211DI multi-process welder. It's a four-in-one machine which makes it really quite unique on the market. Um, means you can MIG weld, DC TIG weld, AC TIG weld and stick weld with it. So a really flexible uh, machine. Uh, you can see it comes with a uh, digital interface, so it's very easy, uh, quick and easy to uh, set up uh, on the front of the machine here. Uh, and you can accessorize this machine uh, with lots of different options. Um, obviously, MIG torch, standard MIG torch, or as shown on the, on the box here, you can use the uh, digital MIG torch with either just the four buttons or with the LCD uh, control as well. Uh, TIG torch, um, fully functioning TIG torch. This one's got up and down current control as well. Again, functions with the machine. Uh, you can use it with a wheel control. Uh, also in TIG, you can use it with a, a foot control, which is really good for aluminium welding. So, machine out of the box, control panel at the top here, uh, basically a single knob control that uh, selects your functions and then some finer adjustments on the side. Connectors across the bottom here, Euro connector for the MIG torch, earth lead socket, TIG torch connections, so gas and uh, control plug and connector for either the TIG torch power or the uh, MMA work lead. This machine has smart switching on polarity so where you have different polarity for MMA and TIG it will auto detect and reverse the priority so you don't need to swap the cables around. As soon as you've plugged everything in you can leave the TIG torch and the MIG torch plugged in at the same time and just toggle between the two processes without having to swap any cables around. Uh, feed box on the, on the side takes 15 kilo uh, spool of wire and if we spin the machine round on the rear of the machine on off switch input cable Note it's uh, 110 240 volt input, so dual voltage, and it has separate inputs for the TIG gas and the MIG gas. Uh, both of those have got sintered filters inside and use a quick fit, so it's quick and easy. So you can leave both gas supplies connected simultaneously, again, which makes it really fast to switch between processes. So we've got the machine powered up, I've got the uh, main menu here. Um, we can just scroll around the functions, press to select. I'm going to go into torch here. I just need to tell the machine which type of torch I've got. Am I using foot control, wheel uh, current control, or a three button switch that also gives me current control or simply on off control. So I'm going to go with that, that one there. I can do the same thing with the MIG, whether I've got a display torch or a, or, or a standard torch fitted. Uh, MMA welding setup, TIG welding setup, so we'll go into there. Got two options, auto setup, this is a, a synergic way of setting up your TIG, so you tell it material size, material type, and the machine gives you some default settings, so very quick and easy to go. Or you can go into manual setup, which gives you, again, AC or DC, AC for aluminium, HF start, pulse, no pulse. So this is the type of control you typically get on the front of an AC-DC TIG machine where you can adjust the pre-gas, the start current, slope up, so on and so forth. So you can tune it exactly how you want it. Uh, but what we're going to do, we're just going to show you the um, rapid setup method. So I use the auto setup, 2T trigger, Tungsten size 2.4, going to weld aluminium and then I just dial in uh, the thickness I want to do. It set the parameters there for me, uh, ready to go um, without having to go through each of the parameters that I want. 
So it's a quick and easy way to, to get set up. Likewise, if I want to MIG weld, press and hold, I go back to the home screen. MIG manual, so that's manual setting of all of uh, the parameters. MIG synergic. Material type, so I'm going to go with steel. Mix gas. 0.8 wire, 2T trigger. And again, all I need to do now is dial in the material thickness I'm going to use. I'll go with three millimeter again, and the machine's set itself. From there, I can fine tune trim the voltage. I can trim the wire speed if I'm not particularly happy with that, or if I'm welding positional where you might want a slightly different parameter. I can save that to, to a memory location. So I, I can just punch it into a memory, say to a memory location, uh, very easy. So I can call those up later if I've trimmed them to particular values. And one really useful feature, um, if you're doing any sort of, sort of pipe welding or anything like that, we're currently on the MIG settings here. If I pick up the TIG torch, press the trigger, it flicks to my previously selected uh, TIG settings. Finish with that, want to go back to MIG, flick the trigger and I go back to the MIG settings I had selected before. So very quick to switch between the, uh, the processes. Obviously we've got two separate gas supplies on the back, so everything's independent between MIG and TIG and the machine automatically switches polarity so you don't have to change any connections on the front of the machine. Simply pick the torch up, flick the trigger, I want to wind it well down so the fans come on. Take, make. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll get some welding videos up on this machine shortly, so watch out for those.